sometimes you can have a great idea, but it's completely unfeasible or unrealistic in terms of like business wise. And then, of course, this afternoon we actually see the demos of the projects, and that's that's pretty interesting too because sometimes you get a totally different idea of a project when you see the demo versus the presentation. You guys ready to do your project in 30 seconds? Okay, here we go. Hello everyone, this is Team IC. Uh, this is our system. It, is, it helps the blind people with their education and accessibility to websites. So, hence to improve their life quality and the employment rate. We design a special Braille keep display and Braille tablets. And here we also design a control panel to make the operation easier. And this system provides a very friendly human. Here we go. Right, we've got an intelligent home system uh, designed to save as much energy as possible um, using the micro framework, compact framework and silver light. Uh, we can control it using all three. We can also send text messages and turn things on and off. Uh, it's designed to save as much energy as possible by knowing where you are and controlling your appliances for you. It's a system to help us to, um, to look after the house for ourselves. Uh, Multi-platform management, so we can cut out the end. Twelve teams that go on to the next round, in no particular order, are... the Ukraine and Teletronics. <laughs> Sri Lanka, SS. Yeah. Korea, Wednesday. China, IC. Mexico, Rainy County. United Kingdom, UH. Canada, Bamboo and Papyrus. Taiwan, Seattle. Turkey, AST. Brazil! Yeah. Open now! The last team in the embedded competition to move on to the next round will be Egypt! This is the second day of the competition. The original 20 were brought down to 12. So these students that you see right here, within an hour's notice, are now going to the next level of the competition for the final six positions. It is grueling, it's a pressure cooker, and that's part of what the Imagine Cup is. What we're gonna be doing for the rest of the evening is going through each of these teams in what's called a deep dive scenario, where we're working to find out what is their level of awareness of Windows Embedded? What are their solutions? What are the ways that they're looking at the competitors that are out there and different alternatives? The expectations that we have for crowning a champion are very high. And I'd like to show you something here. We just revealed this a little earlier in the day. This is what we're talking about. The World Technology Heavyweight Champions of the World. That's who we're going to be crowning tomorrow. All right, embedded. Six teams, no particular order. Korea, Wave 3. Mexico. Turkey, Ukraine, United States, and last, for embedded development, going on to the finals, China!